mitosa twist for a backyard barbecue with good friends, good wine and good groceries. More and more I've seen wine in tetra boxes in America. You know they're quite the rage all over Europe. These data boxes give vintners the opportunity to bring to us premium wine for a really good price. Yellow and blue makes green, which makes us forward thinking and environmentally conscious. To be greener, the wine is organically farmed. And they're ready to drink now. So what I chose here, this is my hors d'oeuvres, and I thought that I'm going to try the white wine with the hors d'oeuvres. That's a tradition, but I've got a secret. Feta cheese and grated mozzarella. Feta cheese doesn't melt so well, so if you put the mozzarella over it, it will hold the feta cheese to, to the quesadilla. It's nice and fresh and it's sweet, so I'm thinking the sweet complement really well with the cheese. But I really would like to try the red wine with the tomato. For some reason the tomato is more spicy with the cabernet, but I really like it. I think the Cabernet is a better match. Jam and cheese change this Malbec in a different wine. It is just absolutely beautiful with that. Who would know? I have sunflower seeds here on the celery with onion and garlic infused cream cheese. Sunflower seeds will go really well with the Cabernet or the Malbec. Toast. I get, I get that toasty, oaky, nutty feel from that. This is beautiful. We'll be back with more of my toasted twists. This is my toasted twist. For you, it's hamburgers and hot dogs. For me, it's lamb burgers and bird dogs. That's an African bride to me. The smell of smoke in the air, and that makes for good sunsets too. Lamb has a, has a robust taste, and so has the Cabernet Sauvignon. You know me, I've always have too much food and something for all. Remember, this is always about your personal taste. This looks delicious. Ooh, now just a little bit of jam. As you guys know, our Africans are really crazy with jam. So and this is apricot jam, our favorite thing. And with lamb, it just brings out that beautiful taste. Mmm, look at that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Bourrevors and the hot dog, just like that. And this beautiful tomato onion like stir fry with a little bit of Worcester sauce just covering the vors like this and it looks so delicious. Ooh, mm -mm. I brush these vegetables with olive oil and lightly salt and pepper it. Just going to cut them up in little bits and then put them into this tortilla that's an organic tortilla with cheddar cheese and jalapeno. And look at that, voila! Oh, this feast is great. All that's missing is you. Mm. The apricot with the lamb, beautiful. I don't like to overpower my, my lamb with anything else because if the, the taste is strong enough. I don't want to confuse things. It's beautiful and you know the jam just gives it that little twang. This is called Bourrevors, a traditional South African sausage that I grew up with. And I put a sautéed onion and tomato based over it and we will see how this goes. Africa, that's all I can say.
this Malbec, this whole evening I had a little problem with it. But this is a perfect pairing. I think the onion and the tomato and the sausage is made with coriander and Worcester sauce and vinegar. And that is just tying in with this Malbec. As I said, something for everyone. A little bit of vegetarian and I'm thinking the white wine will be really great with the creaminess of the refried beans. Mm. Mm. I feel like I want to take another bite. I'm not sure about this. I want to say something about this wine is the nose, it's got this beautiful, beautiful nose. I can't really say if it's flowers, if it's fruit. All I know, it's just exciting, gorgeous. Let me see a little bit more about this. Red pepper. That is what makes this, this whole little sandwich to me. And there's a little bite of jalapeno in the wrap which I feel is really smoothed by this wine. I've got one more sweet thought, maybe two. Cheers. I've never had a marshmallow like this. I'll give you the s'mores, but I'll up you one. Amarula. Amarula is a drink that's made from the fruit marula that's been grown in Africa. It falls off the trees, ferments. Baboons and elephants will eat that and just get drunk off their face. So as I always say, life is too short, always drink good wine or Amarula. And if you want to have more fun with the Toasted Hostess, check out our website, thecoursecrewdiary.tv.